Lab-grown diamonds have grown in popularity for engagement rings and other fine jewelry. While natural diamonds are prized for their rarity, some consumers have opted for man-made versions because they appear identical to ones mined from the earth. But if you browse selections of lab-grown diamonds at online or in-person jewelers, you've likely noticed they are still expensive. In fact, it's common to spend more than $1,000 on a lab-grown diamond when it's for an engagement ring. In this video, I'll explain why lab-grown diamonds are so expensive, how their costs compare to natural ones, and ways to reduce the overall price of your diamond ring. What's the process of creating lab-grown diamonds? The first step to understanding costs associated with lab-grown diamonds is learning how they are created. There are two main processes used to produce them. Chemical vapor deposition, CVD and high pressure high temperature, HBHD. First, a diamond seed is placed in a vacuum chamber. Carbon-rich gases fill the chamber, which is heated to 1500 degrees Fahrenheit. The result is a square-shaped crystal. The manufacturer forms the diamond crystal into its final shape such as a round, marquise, or radiant cut. These diamonds are type IIA, which are known as the most chemically pure. So CVD diamonds often have high clarity and color grades. HPHT diamonds is the original process used to create lab-grown diamonds. It was developed in the 1950s. Similar to CVD, a diamond seed is set in carbon and exposed to intense heat and pressure. When the carbon melts around the seed, it results in a man-made diamond. How much do lab-grown diamonds cost? The cost of a lab-grown diamond depends on several factors, so I'll provide real-world examples of prices for specific ones as well as how the price changes depending on its qualities. I analyzed prices for more than 200 lab-created diamonds from James Allen. They all had ideal cut grades. It costs $1,085. I found this lab-created diamond from the same vendor with the same grades as the one in the pendant. Its price is $769, so the premium you'll pay for the pendant over the loose diamond is $316, which represents 29% of the total price. This demonstrates how the price of lab-grown diamond jewelry is dependent on the cost of each diamond in the piece. How does price compare to natural diamonds? If you perceive lab-grown diamonds as expensive, you might be surprised to learn they cost significantly less than natural ones. As a general rule, you can expect to pay 40-60% less for lab-grown versus earth-mined diamond, but the specifics vary depending upon the vendor and quality. To provide actual examples, I compiled prices for 373 one carat natural diamonds from James Allen. They earned ideal cut, VS2 clarity, and D-color grades. The average price was $8,336, and the range was $6,470, $10,850, its price is $2,890. In the same way you pay more for natural loose diamonds compared to ones grown in a lab, that premium is added to other types of jewelry. You should also know that lab-grown diamonds don't retain their value to the same extent as natural diamonds. They have minimal resale value because the same quality diamond can be reproduced in a lab. Natural diamonds, on the other hand, do retain some value because of their rarity. How to reduce the cost of a lab-grown diamond jewelry If you're finding that lab-grown diamond jewelry is too expensive, there are practical ways you can reduce the overall cost. The most effective way is to find one with lower color and clarity grades that appears identical to ones that earn higher grades. For each step up the color and clarity scales, you will pay 10 to 20% more. That difference isn't always apparent to the naked eye. Here's a 0.75 carat diamond with D-color and VV sewn clarity grades. Is a lab-grown diamond right for you? Lab-grown diamonds are a trending alternative to the traditional choice of an earth mine jam. Because the two types have the same properties, they appear identical. This makes them an appealing option for those interested in an affordable piece of jewelry. So while lab-grown diamonds may have a reputation of being expensive, it's actually a way to save on the overall cost of the ring. Explore a variety of lab-grown diamonds from quality jewelers. Pair them with your ideal setting, and you'll discover the right piece for you. We are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.